have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me camping. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me camping. Elation Radio. And here's your host.
Welcome to the Just For You podcast with Pastor Michelle Ryan. May God bless you on today. It's working out in your favor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Great is our God and greatly is he to be praised. I send a shout out to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our everything, our all in all, and to our Abba Father who created and kept us and is doing great and mighty things in our lives. To you, the listeners, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in on today. Whether it's live or the replay, we appreciate you. To our wonderful producer, Dr. Kenny Robinson, God bless you and our Elation family, and to my husband, Pastor Donald Wright Jr., God bless you on today. I am truly excited about all that God is doing. We want you to be lifted up and encouraged on today. We want to share with you, if this is your first time listening in to the Just For You podcast, I want to share with you what the Just For You podcast is all about. The Just For You podcast is designed to encourage, empower, and engage listeners to thrive spiritually and naturally, utilizing biblical principles. Just For You will reveal truth embedded in the Holy Bible to illustrate kingdom living, soul winning, compassion, and strategy to serve mankind, making a difference locally and globally. Just For You will allow listeners to hear truths and teachings that are applicable, hallelujah, guests that will inspire and opportunities for serving more effectively in the home, church, school, community, and marketplace. Before we begin, we want to just give God his due by praying and thanking him in advance for all that he wants to do. I thank him for being a good father, a good, good father to each and every one of us. Please join me in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you for every listener listening in, Kimmy Robinson and our nation family. I thank you, oh God, for my family and my husband, Pastor Donald Wright Jr., all that are connected to us in any form or way. We just want to say thank you, God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. You are more than able to do anything but fail. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, and for that we praise you. We ask that you will lead God and direct us in this uh, word on today, O oh God. We are showing forth your mercy, your grace, and your power through your word. Lead us, guide us, direct us, help us that we will receive of you. All things are under you. All of us that believe belong to you. To the listener who is not saved, oh God, I ask that you will heal, save, and deliver on today. Have your divine will and way. Forgive us all of our sins as we forgive others that we may be forgiven for this is your word, O oh God, and forgive us again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, listen, I want to thank you for praying with me. There's nothing like prayer, nothing like being in the presence of God, nothing like trusting him in a time like now. I want to share with you some passages on today that will encourage you and strengthen you that will give you hope in times of trouble, that will help you to understand that no weapon form will prosper. Amen. We believe that God is 
able to do anything but fail. Today we're going to be reading beginning at Psalm 47. Psalm 47. It reads as such, O oh, clap your hands, all ye people, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, Salah. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the shout of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of God, of the God of Abraham, for the shield of the earth belongs unto God. He is greatly exalted. When we hear that, when we hear the power of God, and what he's doing, how he's doing, what he expects of us is to sing praises unto his name, to worship him, to clap our hands, hallelujah, clap our hands unto him, for he alone is worthy of all the praise. Why is it required that we clap our hands? that it gives him praise and it gives him honor. And as we honor and praise him, he is enthralled with our love. He is enthralled with the grace he has placed upon us. You often hear me say, our God reigns because he truly reigns over every situation in all of our lives. He maketh his way that all come what they need to be. He opens doors and he closes doors. He gives us strength when we are weak. He gives us peace when it is chaotic. He gives us the ability to believe and to trust him when it seems all hope is gone. He is God. He is God. I don't know when the last time you told him that he is God in your life. But in doing so, you find that he is God. He hears and he answers prayer. He makes ways out of no way. He gives you what you need when you need it most. Even when we don't do what is right, even when we have failed him, he's still God and he's still good. He helps us in the time of trouble. I need you to get that because so often when we go through in life, it often can be misconstrued as if it is a punishment of God. When God himself is giving us strength in the midst of the storm. I want to share with you again another passage. These passages are to encourage your spirit man to grow and to develop in him. We'll be reading from Psalm 145 now. This is a very powerful passage as well. It reads as such. I will extol thee, my God. O king, I will bless thy name forever and ever. Let's talk about that, to bless his name forever and ever. 
When you wake up, you bless his name. When you go to bed, you bless his name. Throughout the day, you bless his name. We want him to know how important and how good and how powerful he is in our lives. To every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. He didn't say praise his name for a little bit. He didn't say praise his name when you feel like it. He said praise his name forever and ever. Three, great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Do you realize how powerful that verse is? Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Have you ever searched for something and couldn't find it? But yet the presence and the power of God rests in your life. Four says, one generation shall praise thy work to another and shall declare thy mighty act. Five, I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous work. When was the last time you told someone how great God was? When was the last time you shared your testimony of hope and how he moved in your life? When was the last time you gave him what do for me and surely belongs to him? The praise that he deserves the calling on him that he deserves, just to let others know that he is Lord. When was the last time you shared your testimony? When was the last time? Let me go back up to four. One generation shall praise thy work to another and shall declare thy mighty act. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous work. Six, and then shall speak of the might of thy terrible act. And I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and is Tender mercy are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. Do you see how many times the word is telling us to praise him, to bless his holy name, to really give him our all with letting him know that we love him and we praise him. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known the sons of men his, mer- his mighty act and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Thy dominion Endure throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raises up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thy hand 
and satisfies the desires of every living soul. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is not unto all them that call upon his name. To all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill, hallelujah, the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserves all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mind shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. I pray that the Lord will bless each and every one of us that hears this word and continues to look to see it. From one time to our time, and know all our help coming from the Lord, thy God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, what a mighty God. We serve, what a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. The angels bow before him. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. We serve, he's a mighty God, we serve. The angels bow before him, the angels bow before him, the angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God, what a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. My heart gets filled when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. All he's done for you. Every day is a new day filled with mercy, filled with grace. Filled with love, filled with joy, because he deemed it so. Even on your worst day, it's a blessed day, because you have life within you. You understand to breathe is a blessing. You understand to sit or to stand is a blessing. You understand that life means nothing without him. Those that are in the body of Christ understand that he is God. There is nothing too hard for him. Nothing too hard for him. He hears. He answers. He, oh my God, he gives us what we need and more. I just wanted to stop by and to remind you to bless his holy name. Don't take for granted your blessings. Don't despise the days of small beginnings. Don't get your 
yourself all worked up over what you don't have. When God keeps reminding you of all that you do have, don't worry about anything, but call on the name of the Lord that he may be full, that he may be lifted up, that he may be glorified, that you may find that he is all you need and more. My soul is joyous on today. My soul is joyous on today because I'm grateful for all God has done. I'm grateful for all God will do. I'm grateful for right now. Nobody can do you like the Lord. Nobody can do us like the Lord. He's able. He knows when to move and how to move. He knows what to do and what not to do in our lives. And when you don't understand him, he's still worth your praise. He's still worth your hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you, hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you, hallelujah, glory, my hallelujah belongs to you, My hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah. Do you ever tell him his, your hallelujah belongs to him? Do you ever let him know that no matter what it looks like, no matter what you go through, no matter how you feel, that he's just good? that he's worthy to be praised, that there is none like him. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the ending. He is every sort of strength. He is our mind is subjected to him, and because of the mind that he's given us, we can praise him. See, it's with the heart of thanksgiving that we give him our praise, a heart that is filled with thankfulness, that we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, I just want to thank, I just want to thank, I just want to thank. You, Lord, you've been so good. You've been so good. You've been so good. I just want to thank you, Lord. You are my friend. You are my friend. You are my friend. And I just want to sing. I just want to thank. I just want to thank you, Lord. Oh. I just want to thank, I just want to thank, I just want to 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name. You're worthy. So worthy. You're worthy, Lord, the James. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy. You're Take joy, my King, 
in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Oh, I love you, Lord, and I To worship you, all my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, let it be a sweet. Sweet sound in your ear. Oh, I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I live my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Hallelujah. That's how I have worship at home. That's how I worship him. I don't have to have music. I don't have, I just want to be in his presence. I just want to love on him. I just want him to love on me. Love on you. Love on us today because he's so worthy to be praised. In the midst of whatever you say. I want you to give him a hallelujah, a thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, you are good, and there's nobody like you. And to thank him with sincere humbleness and with love. He wants to hear from us. And when we praise him, when we worship him, the heavens open up. You want to know how to stay blessed? Stay in his presence. You want to know how to love on God? Give unto his holy name. You want to know when and what to do? Search out in the word of God. Listen to your pastors. Listen to those that have authority over you. Be humble. Give them. Be gracious. And you'll see the hand of God move each day. And every time, I just want you to know today, if nobody told you they love you, I love you, I'm praying for you, I'm believing God that everything is going to be all right in your life. I'm believing God that miracles are taking place, signs and wonders for him to be glorified. I don't know what the hardest thing is for you right now. I just want to tell you, he's able, and he will see you through. I'm a witness, he will see you through. He'll make it all right, because he loves you so much. If you don't know the Lord, and you haven't received him in your life, Perhaps you're waiting for me. I can wait till Sunday. Or maybe you're thinking, I just want to give myself some more time. May I encourage you today to make that decision? Because tomorrow is in promise. He's our God today. He's our Father always. And the more we worship him, the more we 
stay in his presence. The more we connect in his word, the more he gets joy out of our lives. So I want to personally invite you to the body of Christ. If you don't know the Lord and the pardon of your sin, put it out to know him. Give him your yes. Yes, I'll serve you. Yes, I'll receive. Yes, I want to be your lead and watch him come in. I'm praying for you on today that you don't carry long, that you say yes to the Lord, that all things become new and that he will be glorified in your life. It's important. That's the one thing you don't want to change is your soul and where you're going. We know that heaven is available to us all, but we have to say yes. We have to go through the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And we have to do it with an open and loving heart that he can come in because he's a gentleman. He won't force you to be saved, but he's with you throughout the process. I pray you said yes to the Lord today. We all can remain in him because new mercies come every day. Thank you for listening to this week's exhortation. I pray that it has blessed you, it has kept you, it has strengthened you, that you become stronger in all that you're called to do. I want to let you know he's able. I keep hearing it in my spirit. He's able. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Hold on to his unchanging hand. I watch him work it out for you. I want to encourage you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, that he can be glorified in every area of your life. I want to let you know if this is your birthday month, the month of September, we celebrate you. Here at Just For You and Elation Radio, we celebrate you. If you just had a baby, maybe you bought a house, maybe you've gone back to school, maybe the Lord has opened up a door for you in business. Whatever your accomplishment is, we celebrate you here at Just For You. Also, there are times when you go through trials, tribulations, there are deaths, there are sicknesses. Listen, we want you to know here and just for you, we are praying for you. We're praying for your mind. We're praying for your body. We're praying for your soul. We're praying that God will take care of you. There are times you're going to be in need. We want you to know there are resources available for you. And in the St. Louis area, we have United Way. You dial 211. They'll connect you to an intake specialist, and those intake specialists will in turn refer you to someone that can help you. Then there is the Urban League St. Louis. It has over 55 programs. It has all kinds of resources job readiness, women's programming, business programming, men, save our sons, and then there's save our sisters. Information, you can contact them at ulstl.com, that's ulstl.com. For United Way, it's dial 211 in the St. Louis area. If you're outside of the St. Louis area for United Way or Urban League, 
Look them up for your vicinity, and they will be able to assist you and help you. I want to tell you about the St. Louis County Library. They're doing some pretty awesome things. The St. Louis County Library offers so many different resources. During the time that there's been so much need, they are offering diapers to parents and families that are in need of diapers. They also have what they call flow kits for women. Those are personal sanitary items that they are giving away. You contact them and they'll let you know which branch is available with those resources. You can look them up at flcl.org in the St. Louis area. That's flcl.org. They also have a program called the Grand Tag, Grand Tag, where they're connecting seniors with the Internet and with the various outside technology that come with being online. For more information, you can contact them at flcl.org. Curry the Church will be presenting their Thanksgiving drive and Thanksgiving um, celebration. For more information, you can contact Alicia or Lo. Curry, that's C-U-R-R-I-E, on Facebook. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions of how you can donate for their organization or their event. I want to share with you that this week has been a blessed week. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that supported Wake Up St. Louis. Wake Up St. Louis, it was a huge success due to the prayers and the uh, volunteers, the vendors, the visionary, Mr. Eric Ross, God bless you on all the great work that you're doing for the women's conference that was just taking place with our very own Pastor Alicia Curry. You are not a victim. You are a conqueror conference. was a success. Thank you to all who prayed, all that lifted up that conference. Thank God for you. And also, the personal note, thank you to each and every one of you who pray for Mr. Don and myself and the passing of our aunt, Ruby Dean. The family has been overwhelmed with love and prayer, and we just want to take the time to say thank you for doing what you've done. And this month, we acknowledge and we celebrated both of our parents. Our mother's birthdays were September the 6th. And September the 17th, all both are gone on to glory. But yet we are here to allow their lives and their legacy to be lived through us in their love for people and God. So I want to thank you for those of you that celebrated, congratulated all of those birthdays. We say thank you. Also, I want to share with you that the Elation Women, Ashes to Beauty will be every second and fourth Friday on Clubhouse. Please make that note it's every second and fourth Friday on Clubhouse. You want to make sure that you tune in. If you don't have Clubhouse downloaded, join the group from Ashes to Beauty and find that God will meet you there because we are praying and lifting up the name of the Lord at 9 p.m. on those Fridays, 10 p.m., and that's Eastern time, all right? 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time. On Monday, you can hear Pastor Donald Wright, Jr., and myself, Pastor Michelle Wine Wright, on Facebook at 8.30 with our Facebook Live every Monday, 8.30 Central Standard Time, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. And then, of course, meet us back here for the Just For You podcast every Wednesday if the Lord is the same, 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time.
time, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also want you to keep in mind to be careful and watch out for your neighbors. Don't be so in a rush that you can't pay attention to what's around you. Pay attention if cars have been in driveways and have not moved. Pay attention if you haven't seen your neighbors come out in a minute. Attention so that you can make sure if you sense anything wrong that you can check on them and know that they are well. It used to be that in the neighborhood we grew up in, we all paid attention. And when something changed, somebody knew so that everyone would be safe. I encourage you to allow us to get back to that living again, that everybody will be safe and that they will be well because you and because I am looking out for them. One last note on mental health. I want to thank um, Carmen Stewart again for her uh, tenacity and the work that she's doing with our community. I want to also say thank you for having me as a guest for your entities. We appreciate it. We don't take it lightly. And truly today um, there was some talk about mental courage you to not just think that you're so godly strong that you can't take care of your mental health. By all means, when you know that there's a problem, when you know there is something you need, reach out. Pastor Don and I have accountability partners that we reach out to. When we're well, when we're not well, we have loved ones. We have Dr. Kenny Robinson, who I love dearly. We keep in contact. We check on each other. We check on others in our group. We check because you never know what people are going through. And when they're going through, they need you. They need prayer and not complaining or gossiping or trying to do something. Take care of your mental health. Take care of it. Our God reigns, and he's able to heal. He's able to deliver. And, hey, therapy is good. We're going to be talking about that in coming months, and I want you to really get your mind wrapped around Therapy is good, and it may not be for everybody, but for those that it is for that are growing and that are being stretched and that are finding peace in their lives, I say God bless you and continue in your journey. Well, that has been all that we have for you on the Just For You show and Just For You podcast today. We encourage you to continue to pray for us, continue to pray for our very own Dr. Kenny Robinson. I also want to make an announcement for a save the date. Save the date for November 18th and 19th. We're fastly approaching the Elation Honors. I want you to be lifting it up, be praying for each and every one of us that everything will be, that will be November 18th and 19th. Forgive me, November 18th and 19th. You'll be hearing more about that. Well, thank you again for listening to the Just For You podcast with Pastor Michelle Y. Wright. We love you, we appreciate you, and we thank you for your love, prayers, and consideration. And thank you, Dr. Kimmy Robinson, for your love, support, and all that you do for all of us at Elation Radio. May God bless you. Until next time, this has been Pastor Michelle Y. Wright with the Just For You podcast. Hallelujah. Took me a while, 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 a while,